show you today just a little quick demo. I thought I'd do it sitting down because that's what the demo's about. It's a little bit of yoga that you can do on the airplane. Um, now, this some of these moves depend on if you have people on both sides of you, uh, is your child on one side and your spouse on one side and that's okay, or do you have empty rows next to you and you can just lounge out. But I find that just doing a little bit of yoga, a little bit of stretch, really, really helps me whew, keep my brain from fogging over and getting that travel fog, keep my body from hurting, and it entertains my son a lot because we'll do little stretches together. So one of the first things you can do, and I'm just gonna sit here all cramped like I do, like, oh, I can't move, hello. Do you have some nuts? Oh, sparkly water? Oh, let's hit some turbulence right all over me. Ah, that's what I look like on an airplane. <laughs> If, if you see me flying, say hi, and I'll be like, hello, I have T-Rex hands because the seats are so, whoops, so tiny. How do I put this up here as a reminder that I'm on a tiny airplane? <laughs> Suddenly, the internet is filled with T-Rex flying memes. I love T-Rex jokes. Okay, we're gonna start. I got distracted. T-Rex jokes on my card tonight. That and chocolate and cheesecake. Oh, I want a chocolate cheesecake. That was a tangent, I will admit. <laughs> We're gonna start with our little arm exercises we can do. Now, vary these according to not annoying people and your stretching ability. You don't wanna hurt yourself. You can always talk to a doctor ahead of time, you know, so you don't pull anything. Um, if some of these moves aren't doable in your seat, you can do them in the aisle, the galley, or the bathroom. And I find that getting up, and even if it's three minutes, right, so you aren't blocking areas, just makes a huge difference exercising a little bit. So start out arms like this, grab our little elbow softly. We weren't like death grabbing it, right? It's just a little grab. We go, oh, hello, how are you there? Oh, doesn't that feel delightful? Let me show you another one. So we grab this, oh, turn our hand around in a magical sort of way, saying, hey, how many pretzels do you got on this airplane? And we just stretch. And then we're gonna do a little bit different. We're gonna pull up instead of to the side and back, we're gonna pull up and back towards the neck. One more on the other side. See how nice and easy that is? Okay, this is a fun, easy one too. So we clasp our fingers together, that's what they look like. And then stretch your arms out, stretch them back. Oh yeah, wiggle it back and forth. Maybe make some scary grunting sounds if the person next to you has been harassing you and just be like, Ugh. Freak them out a little bit, you know. If they try to tell you that you're doing it wrong, just mansplain to them that you know all about yoga because you watch Roaches. Awesome. Wholesome Feed Channel. I think I just called myself Roaches. Roses. Awesome. Wholesome Feed Channel. I used to be able to speak. I only make YouTube videos. Pfft. Overrated. So those are good, easy arm stretches. You can always do a little wing bone stretch. Your scapula. I'll show you. That looks like from behind. So you're just doing this. And this is more of a galley in the bathroom thing because it's going to be rare that you're going to have this elbow with. And that's just easy, easy. Now if you are in your little seat and you want to stretch your legs, hello legs, I put on some travel socks that I wear when traveling because I thought I shall be authentic in my travel gear. So you hook your arm around your leg. Let me move the camera so you can see this a little better. There you go. You can't see my face as well, but you can see my legs. So you're gonna hold this up. And this is something I do with my son a lot because he loves stretching his leg. And you're just pulling it in so you're up and in towards your chest. Keep your posture as good as you can. Let's do the other leg. Up and on your side. And then another one is you can just lift, stretch as far as you can lift, stretch as far as you can, right? You aren't gonna get very much, but you'll get about this width I have found if I put up the tray table. Just enough to like keep circulation going, right? I'm gonna scoot you back a little bit so that you can see my face. There you are. Boom. Those are easy, simple stretches you can do. Um, you can do lunges in the aisle. I know, people will hate you. And I get that, but as long as I'm not grabbing onto people, I'm not harassing them. I don't do deep lunges and I'm gonna fall over on people. I just do little, little tiny dips. Just when I am on a 10 hour flight, 
I want to move my body sometimes and I haven't on flights. I felt guilty being like, people are going to judge me if I stretch. And my body feels so much worse when I care about people judging me than when I actually just get a little exercise on in the airplane, right? It makes such a difference for me at least, amazingly. Obviously don't harass the flight crew, listen to what they have to say. Um, don't take up space in lots of areas and don't, you know, be falling over on other people. Don't do stretches that make you vulnerable to falling over with turbulence, right? You're in there, you gotta be cautious, but you can do little stretches. Right? You can bend forwards and do stretches when you're in the bathroom. You can do deep squats in the bathroom. Um, and that can just be a minute here, a minute there, right? And it keeps your body moving, makes your body feel good. Huge difference, I think. I'm gonna show you a couple of the squats and things you can do uh, when you're in the bathroom or the galley or the um, walkway between seats. But just, you know, be courteous of everyone around you and understand that if somebody else are, is doing some stretches in the aisle, it's probably because they're sore and uncomfortable. Obviously, you don't want to take up space in the aisle. People need to be able to get through. But if you're just walking along, doing some lunches, it's okay. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Until next time, hey, give us a big thumbs up. Boom, 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 boom. If you like these exercise and travel combo videos. Until my next video, I'll see you all over my Instagram grid of awesome sauceness. I started adding some videos on Instagram TV. Kind of testing that out, seeing if I like the format. It's kind of fun to shoot in a vertical format. I'm not used to that. I'm not used to that concept with videography, so it's kind of fun to do. I like that. Um, and you can always check out the links to my books in the description box. I link to my nonfiction, my gentle parenting breastfeeding guide, which is wonderful from like, you know, if you are pregnant and thinking about breastfeeding, it's a great guide all the way up until full term natural weaning breastfeeding. I kind of cover from A to Z simply easily. It's just, it's a really easy to read book um, that I wrote purposely for that. I had a, a midwife um, tell me really beautifully that it was just such an easy, friendly book to read and I greatly appreciated that. I also link to my fiction work. Um, I'm a romance novelist. I write a lot of women's uh, romance novels and you can check out the link to them. Until next time, hey, thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of this wholesome food family. It's so wonderful to have this community on here, this safe space to be moms and dads and to talk and communicate about all the things that, you know, we're human beings going through life being parents too. It is a complicated little sphere that we orbit in. Until next time, I will see you all over Instagram. Bye!